Hi guys, I'm Shinji. Um, today I'm going to showcase how to do Tommy of Blessing Spring 6 as easy as possible. I'm trying to make all the runs uh, as uh, easier so that I can explain to you guys how to clear everything is easy because uh, of my previous uh, more famous videos and I find people appreciate on how I can make how to clear the dungeon easier. So first thing first, we need to understand the ley line. Okay, as we all know, this domain ley line disorder is crazy. In a way, it's crazy because superconduct melt and vaporize. Actually, no, melt and vaporize. You you will take damage whenever you try to melt and vaporize. But whenever superconduct is triggered, you deal damage to your surrounding opponents. And there are let me see, one big ring guard, the flying ring guards, and then two archer healing shoes, and then two. Uh, cryo mage. The uh, cryo mage is the one where you always trigger the melt. At the same time, the domain has something in the middle that always causes the whole field to turn. Uh, what is it called? Turn cryo. So you need to be very, very careful when using the pyro unit. But as you can see, my team is still using two pyro unit. I'm going to show you how I can maintain uh, my life with one healers and also one very good uh, pyro to keep the cryo mage down and we can kill them fast enough first tip get a, use an archers it can be fishes can be wendy can be anyone's first thing you need to do is to shoot the eye of the ring guy all right first tip first uh, for those who knows you can ignore this for those that you don't know aim for the eyes of the ring guard during flying phase i mean the boss flying phase wait the mob flying phase you will shoot the him down and you drop down on the floor you can freely dps with all your the rest of your midi characters right up next to tips number two uh, if you have electro units you can start with electroing the mob first and then wait for the fill to drop a cryo debuff to the whole uh, domain including the enemy mobs as well this will trigger a superconduct to deal damage to the boss as well as reducing their physical defense. Uh, this does help for tools that doesn't have enough DPS. Uh, using e skill DPS to clear the uh, ring up fast enough. For me, I do not really need. Uh, it's, it's slower for me, but this is one of the way you can try it. For the next tips. We all know that we, when we use a elemental burst, we will get an iframe. Iframe means invulnerability frames where you do not take any damage. So make use of this. Why? Because the blast from the uh, melt damage from the domain itself, Layla Disorder itself, you can actually ignore those damage by using your, your elemental burst first. But do remember that you don't cancel them. Or if you cancel them too early, uh, you will still get damaged by the, by the blast from the domain. What you're gonna do is to press Q and let the animation run through. Do not cancel it. I believe all the pyro units elemental burst can uh, iframe the blast from the domain. Because I find that even Bennett with the fastest iframe or the shortest iframe, uh, Bennett also can ignore the damage as long as you do not cancel animation them. For some reason, all the blast from the domain has cooled down or it cannot infinitely causes damage to you so what you can do is always press elemental burst first and then only elemental skill so that you will take the domain damage and you can safely break down the cryo mage shields and down them as fast as possible I believe now is tip number 4 and this is how I group the cryo mage together first thing first use uh, one of your character to hit one of the cryo mage and then run to the second cryo mesh and stand on the distance I'm showing and face the face that cryo mesh. The way I do is I will use uh, Archer to shoot the cryo mesh so that my character will always face that cryo mesh. The, uh, the first cryo mesh will teleport to the second cryo mesh and that's the timing where I can use uh, to bring their shield down together. This does need to take some practice on, you got used to it, uh, you will be fine. As you can see, even I took like 2 blasts from the ice mage when doing it, you just need to be quite careful when doing it. Of course, if you want to kill the cryo mage one by one, it's all up to you. If you find it hard to deal both of them together, I have anti, so I 
me myself is doing it slightly different here since I got Wendy what I'm going to do is break down the one of the shield and then use Wendy to group them up together and then use uh, Bennett to break down another shield uh, of course using swirls uh, if you make it a pyro pyro when DQ is the best uh, if you can't doesn't really bother me I still can use my official bird or any other thing to break down the second trial machine as soon as as fast as possible which I have totally no worry here I'm just going to show you my team as well. Uh, I'm using Singian, Vicious, Venti, and Bennett, as you know. Um, just a side note your level 90 is level 80 or level. I believe level 80, 80 is the best. But I think level 70 to 80 is also fine. Clearing that is just a matter of speed clearing. For me, since I like to clear the domain under 1 minute if possible, or 1 minute 10 seconds, under 1 minute 30 seconds. This is, the, this is the time I always set for myself So this is the stat as well I have like 600 attacks 45% crit rate and 137 crit damage for Singen the Artifact is using Burstain Of course I have a higher, higher constellation C6 And this is my skill I always stop up the skills at level 6 or level 9 Same towards Vicious C6 as well uh, this doesn't really matter you need to be C6 or not, it's just a matter of clear speed. This is my stats. Uh, 2100 attacks, 62% crit rate, 150% crit damage. And then this is my Venti. Venti is just a sub one, it's for debuff and for control. Uh, 1700 attacks, 1700, I mean 1700 attacks, 21% crit rate, 71% crit damage. And then Bennett, just a simple one. The most important thing about the Bennett is uh, energy which has 171%. Uh, for 20, I forgot to tell you guys about it. It's not constellation, sorry. It's about the really decent stats, very important. And also the uh, energy energy which has 160%. This, this is the talent as well, 469, uh, because I have C4. But C4 is for main TPS, actually. Uh, I'm just doesn't really bother about it. Uh, this one is staying her, him at level 80 right now. But right, I should level 90 him as soon as possible. But I just lazy and went to up other character first. Uh, okay. For character wise, I believe Bennett you can swap to other healer. Jin, Chi Chi, uh, Barbara, even Barbara, no issues. Really, really no issues. As long as your main pyro can melt down the. Uh, shield effectively maybe in end up you want to group them together or you just want to uh, kill them one by one for me features is very important she acts as an archer and also electro to deal the super conduct whenever possible uh, it's also she also can break the cryo shield fairly fast enough or else you can use other electro units if you don't have is never mind uh, you can try to use maybe Hmm. I think Mona is fine because you get the frozen effect for them. Uh, maybe Lisa is also fine. Uh, her Q is great uh, as long as your main DPS can break down the ring guard fast enough. For me, it's special because she's my main sub DPS. Well, I, have I, have mm, I guess that's all. Ah, even Zhongli is usable if you. Because the only Q damage somehow able to take down like 25% of the cry machine or maybe 30 to 40% as well. Uh, even his E as a shield is also very good. Uh, of course, you might have some troubles to take down the ring guard faster, but it's still fine. You just clear it slower. It's not a very, very huge matter. The most important thing is how you're going to use the cry machine in this domain. Alright, so. That's all. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I believe the next video I will do is the noblest of niche domain. I forgot what's the name of it. Uh, I think I already made few videos, but I'm just going to make it 
few methods to clear that domain in as easy as possible. I have few methods with me right now, and after that, maybe I'll do some other domains, as uh, especially the newer one as well. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channels, and I'll see you next time.